Hey everyone, this is Sean, and in today's video, I wanna talk about how to set up a budget home theater system for your Xbox One. In addition to showing the Xbox One home theater setup, I'm also gonna be talking about streaming Xbox One games to the surface, and also streaming from your PC to the Xbox One. Okay, so as you can see, this is a 100 inch screen, okay? So this is epic. Now, if you haven't already, be sure to check out my how to set up a budget home theater video for $200. Uh, I used a lot of the same things, the screen, the projector mount. I did make a few upgrades. I got a better projector because for gaming you want HD. Also, I got a sound bar which significantly adds volume. There are so many options and ways to expand and tweak on what I'm about to show. But if you want links to some of the things that I show in this video, do check out my video description where I put it all there. Okay, so the projector that I'm using in this video is an Epson. It's a 720p projector, so not uh, 1080p, but still very, very good for gaming. And I'm using just a generic mount to uh, mount this to the top. Now on the other side, you can see that I've got a sound bar as well as my connect sensor at the very top. And of course my 100 inch screen. Now, you, may, you might be asking, well, why isn't the sound bar centered over the projector screen? As of this video, the Kinect sensor does not have an extension cable that you can buy. So I was limited to this distance that you see here going from the Xbox One all the way up to the Kinect sensor. That said, you can actually put the Kinect sensor closer to your Xbox One and center your speakers. Uh, that's completely up to you. This is the setup that I preferred. So it's awesome using the Kinect for voice commands. For example, I could say, Xbox, volume up. And you can see it raises up the volume. Uh, so I can control Xbox pause, Xbox play. You know, I can control the Xbox using some commands from the comfort of my sofa while watching on the big screen. So one thing that I got were these uh, white conduits, which you can get on Amazon. Again, you can check out my video description. Uh, this makes it so that the cables are nice and neat going all the way down to the Xbox One. Now you might be asking, what is this other small screen that I have in this setup? Well, this is optional and it makes it really nice and convenient so that if I didn't want to run the projector, I don't have to turn on the projector. I can just have a small screen. I've got kids who like to watch small movies Sometimes I don't want to whip out the projector. I just want something simple. Or if I'm listening to music, Xbox Music or Pandora, I can just have it show up on the small screen if I want to, and I don't have to worry about the projector. So in order to have it come on both the projector and the small screen, uh, or one or the other, you'll want to get an HDMI splitter so that you can split the signal into two. So what do I actually have on my little table here? Well, I've got my Xbox One. Of course, all my movies, DVDs, and Blu-rays, which can be played in the Xbox One. By the way, if you use your Xbox One for watching movies or you know YouTube video or music or media, I really recommend getting one of these remote controls. This is just so much better than using the controller for watching movies and so forth. Uh, you can see I've got my wireless uh, controller charging station up there. I also have my Miracast dongle so I can mirror my Surface screen to the Xbox One. Okay, so with the Miracast, I can actually wirelessly cast my Surface to the Xbox One. All I have to do is just plug my Miracast device into the HDMI input in the back of the Xbox One and I say, Xbox, watch TV. And there it goes. So now, uh, now what you see here is I'm actually controlling this from my Surface device. So this is actually uh, what you see on the screen here. This is my, uh, this is my Surface device. Very, very cool. Now there is a built-in Miracast function in the Xbox One, and I have a video on that as well. As of this video, it's in preview. There's still a few bugs to work out. So for now, uh, I prefer using the, my, the Netgear device. It's rock solid. I've never had a problem with it. Now in order to connect to the Miracast, all you need to do is open your Action Center, go to Connect, and then you'll see your Miracast device show up in the list of devices you can connect to. So go ahead and tap on it and it will uh, automatically connect. Now, of course, you can also stream your Xbox One games to your Surface or PC. All you have to do is go into the Xbox app and then you'll want to connect to your Xbox One. Go to the option that is connect to your Xbox One and then go ahead and tap stream. Now, for some reason, uh, your Xbox app doesn't detect your Xbox One. Just go into your network settings, make sure everything is 
sharing is enabled, all that kind of stuff is enabled, and then retry it and it should work. Okay, so as you can see now, I've got my Xbox One streaming to my Surface, okay? As simple as that. Let's go ahead and stream a game such as Star Wars. So here we've got Star Wars. So you can see I'm playing uh, Star Wars Battlefront. Uh, now just to show you, let's go ahead and pause this. Uh, I'm playing right here in the living room. So. so you can see both the Surface and the Xbox to kind of get an idea that the lag is pretty small. Uh, if you have a strong network connection, you should experience close to zero lag. So as you can see, my controller is actually connected directly to my Xbox, not the Surface. So it's not going through the Surface, it's going to the Xbox. Uh, what I've found is in my house at least, from most places in my house, I don't need to actually put in an adapter into my Surface. Now if you have a big house or lots of walls, uh, then you'll want to get one of these. This is an Xbox wireless adapter uh, for Windows devices. So you just plug it in and then your Xbox controller signal will go through your Windows device or your Surface to the Xbox. Uh, and this works fantastic. Okay, last but not least, I want to show how you can stream PC games to your Xbox One. So in this case, I'm using a popular gaming platform called Steam. Uh, let's say I wanna play something like Mass Effect 2. So I can go ahead and stream this game uh, from my desktop. Uh, so let me go ahead and select uh, stream and the game will begin streaming directly from my desktop. So what does that look like over here? Well, basically I had my Miracast device all I did was uh, unplug the HDMI from my Miracast device and plugged it into an adapter so that I could have my Surface run in. Uh, you can see here, this is the Xbox One uh, wireless receiver so that I can use my controller. So I'm basically streaming uh, from my desktop to my Surface, or of course you can run it, run it directly from your tablet if you wanted to, but I'm actually streaming it to my tablet and just having it go through the Xbox. So now I can play uh, any PC game from my desktop through the, uh, through the Xbox One home theater system. So it's not streaming it directly to the Xbox One uh, from Steam, that's not possible yet. All right, so there you go. That was my video on how to set up a home theater system for the Xbox One. Uh, and also some various streaming, game streaming options as well. Be sure to check out my video description for additional information and links to some of the things that I show in this video. Also do check out my website. Again, there's a link in my video description for additional information. If you enjoyed this video, uh, be sure to like it, be sure to share it, and thank you very much for watching.